Hello, everybody! Welcome to EFAP Episode TV Acolyte 4. Yeah. Oh, what can you say, right? It's like post-apocalypse now. We're trudging through the wastelands because that explosion in the prior episode that everyone has uh, recovered from, everyone's like, what could four do to ever compete? But I guess we're here to find out today. As we've said so many times, it can't possibly get worse, <laughs> right? There is no I'm way. Just, um, yeah, I'm just kind of in the mood of just, just give it to me. I just find it interesting how the show is continually kicking up a stink at this point, like every <laughs> episode, every week. <laughs> it's just got if, people upset. If the landscape of media releases was a room, every time you go and you you just you like you go and you're like, what is what is that smell? <laughs> <laughs> what? what? <laughs> you do a little spray. It's actually, it's actually that Family Guy joke. It's except Peter Griffin is the acolyte and the other guy is you. You smell fart, and acolyte says it was you that farted. Ha. <laughs> ah. It was you. <laughs> uh, it was you. <laughs> On that note, I don't know what would be a better way to begin. When do you think Smilo Ren is going to show up in like the opening Star Wars thing? You know, like the flash of all the characters. When do you think? Oh, this Smiler show. Renan? It'll be this show. Had he already, I wouldn't have been surprised. Like I haven't, just, I just haven't been watching those. I don't think I've noticed him yet. I'm excited for him to yeah. join the the hallowed halls of the Star Wars <laughs> characters. Yeah. The hallowed halls of the Sig. He's in good company. Do you remember that, Ryan? There was a sink at one point in the opening. Yes, there was. A sink? Yeah, it's on yeah, screen right now. Know. There was Jedi a sink. Jedi are good. I actually put that in the previously on the We so never funny. understood it. We've referenced it many times. The sink just turned up, and we were like, why the fuck is there a sink? It's comment, a hidden secret co message. Comment in our web zone to tell us why there was a sink. <laughs> Call for a relaxing forest retreat. Oh god, this story is so wank, isn't it? And what I mean by that, of course, isn't just the way they tell it, but what it is. A relaxing forest <laughs> retreat. Are you, you mean like a, just a forest? Come on, Smilo Ren. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, no, no sink. Not yet. Oh, not yet. Maybe we. Are, no, I will actually gone. start rooting for the return of the sink. <laughs> it's so funny how they just the start sink? every show by just flash banging you with brand iconography. <laughs> yeah, it's right. Right, my right. favorite character. Remember all these things we ruined? Here like, you go. I love when they replace the DreamWorks one with just, hey, look, boss baby. Yeah, well, isn't it funny you can trace it all back to Marvel starting it oh, up fine. with the comics flipping by, which is so, yeah. to me, so much more genuine as to why you have a thing oh, like yeah. that. Oh, hopefully that this entire episode's a POV of Kelnaka or whatever. Well, finally we get some Kelnaka content, yeah. Uh, it'd be good if it was I'm a final episode for, for this Wookiee, content. just seeing him go about his daily life. Meeting his friends and maybe playing poker. Like, how oh, does, does he jerk off with those claws? claws? Oh, look, he fingers. Yeah, he yeah, yeah, machine. Yeah. Well, he has the force. You're joking it looks like, me. It looks like the thread, right? <laughs> like, the, the tattoo that they had? I was actually Don't about to say, was that drawn by fucking one of the kids or something? When they were kids? The, the, the May or... The old grass stew. Yeah, I saw it. <laughs> I love grass stew. Like... <laughs> That's I love my nice grass souffle. Oh, wow, well, that's oh, already it. Okay. That's it. Do you, do you guys yeah. grill your grass or do you like. Uh, do <laughs> I wasn't you, even a scene. Like, I was just. It? Yeah. I tend to boil it. Keep each movement tight. Yet subtle. What does that mean? You say tight and subtle. Diminish areas of vulnerability. How do I do that? Can you explain to me how that's done? So they're back on Coruscant now. Asha's back on Coruscant. Maximize your defenses without need to strike. Finally. How do I do they, that? I thought that Sol was in a rush to get to the next place. I know he got told to come back, but like come back and even yeah. Now they're doing training. Do some training. How in any way would this help? I feel like this is just choreography. It's like the Black Widows in so Black Widow. They just like. Do these weird dance routines? Why are they training with sticks, by the way? Isn't that going to get them a wrong sense of balance for the well, weapons? There's, well, they're weight, sword like yeah. weapons. A lot of the training regiments would be like with real weapons, and then they would kind of you perfect those, and you move to practicing with a saber and stuff like that. Thank you for helping me find my sister, prove my innocence, clear my name. Dude, yeah. they're doing it again. They're telling us things we already know. And thanks to you, I've seen her with my own eyes. Even if I failed to stop her. That are over about the characters. We already know all of this, that how you feel about these things, though so oh I'm- Oh god. It's a little bit weird to be super appreciative to Jackie specifically. Don't tell me you'll miss me. <laughs> well, because make sure you never up. change your haircut, ever, so there's no confusion. <laughs> yeah. And don't gain weight or lose weight. You care about me. You mourn the years lost between the two of you. Someone must find me before she does any more harm. Are they supposed to be, like, coding this as, like, <laughs> like they've got something going on? Surely not. They they barely even spoke. Next time I'm on Coruscant, though, I'll look you up. And we'll go to a cantina, 
and trade stories about Master Soul. They seem to be close now. Her years at the but Jedi Temple over. taking instruction yeah. is just <laughs> not going to be a part of the show, perhaps. Unless it'll be another flashback for later. In which case, we'll probably not learn anything new, but we will be reminded of things we were mildly told before. It would just be really funny if they were like, you know, it's crazy, it's been years since uh, Master Torben died. And we're like, wait, what? <laughs> like, That's they they, it, it, it feels like a significant amount of time has passed, like, for them to have that conversation on Coruscant. I don't even think we achieved anything with that one, but they really wanted us to know that those two have, I guess, developed a I mean, strong friendship. I it was just, I'm leaving. Okay, let me recap the story yeah. so far. Which is like, your story it's like fucking an hour and a half. We haven't forgot. So and most of it was flashback. They brought out these three big black bins and then took the things from those bins <laughs> and put them to their bags and then took those bags and they're going to take them out with them. Why not just fill up the dude the bags from the ship? Why did you bring the black boxes out? They Why can't the fuck help would themselves. You do that? Like, do you understand how there's no logic in anything that anybody does? I wouldn't just take off if I were you. I know bounty hunters won't set foot in these forests. Well, First, Rex, speaking of, he just said, don't walk now. off alone. This place is dangerous. There are bounty hunters who wouldn't even come here. It's like, what do you mean? Surely she's coming with you. You went in there and risked your life for my master? No, I risked my life to help you. Does he know where the Wookiee guy is, like on the that's planet? What, then that's he what is. he said. That's what he said, yeah. You found Kelmaka. So he knows exactly where he is on this uncharted planet. Kofar is massively uncharted. How? How does he even know where he is? <laughs> Your sister being alive doesn't change anything. There's three hours of sunlight left. Hold up, if there's three hours of sunlight, then why not just stay in orbit until morning and, and then the, land? Yeah, exactly. And then you have a whole day to do wiki stuff. See? See what wiki I mean? Stuff. It happened again, where everyone's doing something <laughs> stupid. Who made this bridge? <laughs> Joe Wookie, Kelnaka. Um, yeah, it's like yin and yang. Well, but like you know, yeah. like he said, you know, wait, don't go, just don't just go off. As if she was gonna just leave without him or something. When there he is. There he is. <laughs> like it's just funny. It's <laughs> funny. How did they make <laughs> this mistake? There is skill there. Yes. Someone has trained her. I haven't got the exact numbers, but I'm pretty sure Kiadi Mundi should be negative 30 to 40 years old right now. Yeah, Kiadi Mundi was not born at this time <laughs> period yet, but he looks like a middle aged man right here. Yeah, he this looks is pretty Kiyadi old. Kiadi Mundi <laughs> Sr. This is his father. Unfortunately, he's credited the properly. An apprentice who doesn't know their master. Could this be a splinter order? Was the conversation, well, Yoda would be too obvious, so let's pick someone who wouldn't be obvious, like someone who shouldn't even be alive. She killed two Jedi Masters. <laughs> they put their name or, in their or red. The, <laughs> or the person, <laughs> video or, game. The, or the person who very famously said in episode one, It was a Sith Lord. Impossible. The Sith have been extinct for a millennium. What a, what a blunder. Yeah. <laughs> you think a Jedi taught her? Even a hologram can tell me that. Or an intentional, like, put him in there to cover up, like, make him be part of the cover-up, even when he's on the Jedi Council years later. We must alert the High Council. The High Council would be obliged to inform the Senate. A scandal like this would inspire fear and mistrust. Wait, is the High Council... Would that be Yoda? They, yeah, they'd be, that would be they'd the, the Jedi, Jedi Council. Right? So why why yeah, the yeah. fuck wouldn't they... I thought she was, like, one of the most powerful people. Isn't she on the High Council? We don't know. Apparently not. Master Holden, extract Kalnaka from his post on Kofar and intercept me. Because huh. they'd be required to inform the Senate. This bitch is all about making why? sure the Jedi don't look bad. Why didn't you tell me there was a chance this poor girl survived? If I thought there was, of course I would have. But she fell into a pit in a Disney production. The nature of this procedure, like like the way they usually run this, I don't understand why they do it this way. It's just more complicated and probably will have worse results. But we can't let this get out. It's what? like, bro, everyone knows. Your personal connection with her and her sister is not a benefit here. Two Jedi Masters have died. Several randoms from the planets that they're involved in? No. Yeah. I fear May is only a small part of her master's larger plan. You know what, when the Jedi Masters actually do find out who are on the council, will they not be like, oh, this was sabotage and mutiny, essentially? She made the call that they shouldn't know, and that the Yeah, Senate which is fucked up. Know. And she's done this officially in the buildings they operate in. Mm-hmm. But what were they doing yeah. there with Kiari Mundi? In kind front of, of other people. Going, like, hmm, yeah, looking what's a bit up? shifty. If she resists arrest and Holden neutralizes her... It won't come to that. Then the whole master will truly be lost to us. Yeah, j just want to make sure you realize that this character is Kiari Mundi. Like, let's just <laughs> if it does show a couple random that. shots of him. She will not surrender without getting something in return. Do we have something she wants? Yeah, Soul should say... 
you should send me to do it because I can just stun lock her with the force. Well, I mean, <laughs> at, the, at this point, it's getting pretty embarrassing, right? They should have defeated her several times. They're not allowed to, though. How do you kill a Jedi without a weapon? It has to be some sort of test, right? Hey, look, they're explaining mm -hmm. it. No, she's not going to say anything. I'm just curious how you're going to do it this time. You, you failed so much. <laughs> I killed Indara and I killed Torben. You didn't kill Torben. You have to kill the Wookiee without a weapon. Oh, that's a real place. Makes me wonder if, like, they went to, like, an actual hillside and just walked around. Because I know Disney won't go to a forest, hey. just a normal forest, so... Can't believe my sister's Jedi scum. I can't believe my sister's just Jedi scum. Out. It's like, yeah, yeah, you couldn't, you couldn't, we couldn't do anything better than that. She seemed really fond of that one Jedi master. What was his name again? Soul? Dude, are you serious? Hey, how much they like, don't really talk annoying? like people. The people who write this are bizarre aliens. They don't understand how people converse. The inquisitiveness oh, back. of the human mind. It's the writing equivalent of the bored teenager at, like the supermarket you know yeah well i would do that if i had the tools pit but i don't have those all right I'm so tired of these cute little fucking droids or animals that they have to give to all these fucking people for companions well no, they never really amount to much do they other than you are my little droid say hi to the audience they, they become an important plot element for one single scene that lets them like escape or something and other than that they're useless they, they just want to sell toys you want me to rejoin the jedi not officially um <laughs> dude that's funny you want me to rejoin the jedi no <laughs> like, oh, okay. <laughs> That's fine. Also, what the fuck? She said goodbye to Jackie, but not to Soul? She said she'd caused him enough trouble, as if uh -huh. goodbye is more trouble. <laughs> what about the other one, um, Yord? Isn't the Yord the, Horde. Didn't she used to friends with him or whatever? Seems yes, like it, yeah. yeah. If you come, they will allow us both to go. Why are you wearing gloves? We're just re we're doing we're just carrying on the plot line. It, like we're getting the band back together to go and hunt down May again. It's like that's what we were doing. Like the, the group only disbanded like five minutes ago. Uh, yeah, this yeah, is yeah, it's like this is all just you de delaying. This is just like, taking oh, forever. She said there is still good in her. The part of her that loves you. She's a murderer. How oh, does that work from a Jedi perspective? There is good in her in that she loves you in her attachment to you. But Osha just said, "Oh, she's a murderer. You can't be easy on her." But like, bitch, you let her go. Yeah. So you, it was yeah. you, didn't, you didn't shoot her. You let her live. Or it is that she just missed. Like, that she actually just missed. <laughs> Point blank range. She didn't miss. It was intentional. It was intentional. <laughs> sure. no, if she said in this episode, I can't believe I missed, I guess you still would believe it, right? Oh, hi. What's we the got point of the gloves? Uh, Why do people wear gloves? What? It is an article of clothing. Why do you wear clothes? Obviously, because there's no social stigma against exposing one's bare hands. It's obvious that my hands are cold. Why can't you infer that? Why do I see the question in chat? I get the impression a lot of these Jedi aren't gonna like make it to the end of the season. <laughs> We're gonna oh, look crash at or something. There's a space gopher. No, no, no. It'll be that when they fight Smilo Ren, he'll kill all of the no name oh, characters. Right. <laughs> what why, the why? fuck? Why would you do that? Rude. Was that water or was that like acid? Are we really <laughs> spending runtime on this? Yes, the episode is really long. You see, oh wait, no, we're nearly halfway through. What's that? It's Basil. Brazil? Is he or they with us? It's so obviously or coded they. to like insert non binary esque <laughs> type of language into this shit. He or they. It would be prompted for he or she. That's what everyone always says about a creature that can't tell the gender of. That's You're either one. a man or a they. <laughs> you can't be a she. Uh, what an incredibly based move from Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> Man, nothing's happened. Nothing like has just happened. landed. Nothing has happened, but it's very expensive nothing. It's like a million oh, dollars in oh, like two minutes. Hold on, this... Big and hairy. There is no way they're setting this shit up for yeah, them nothing. to like be there at the same time as the other people, right? Yeah. Be I'd... Because they, th you have to imagine that guy who could be Smilo Ren and May went there immediately after their last place. You're going to need to hand that blaster over. Yeah, These motherfuckers went all the way, way back ahead. to Coruscant, hung out for a couple days. You're not telling me that they're going to be like hot on their trail after this. No way, so... no way. I'm going to have to insist that you hand it over. <laughs> We almost had some conflict yeah. where she had a blaster and he's like, you can't have that, that's Jedi property. Also, you're here with us, you should hand it over. And then we've just dropped that. To be honest with you though, Rags, I don't even know that you should take issue with it. She had it before, it worked out pretty okay, and she's been cleared now. Like, why does he care I guess that she has it? Because we didn't talk about her letting the guy go, or how she yeah, could have possibly... No, yeah, we didn't do that, point. and we don't know what these guys' opinion is of her, even after we know she's a good guy now. The locals say he ventured off into the forest and never came back. How do we find him? We have a tracker. Sorry, what? Okay, 
Why can't we find Kelnaka with the Jedi by sensing his like abilities and, and his? Or using life sign scanners we... like we know exist in this universe? What's the suggestion here that they just had a Kelnaka rag? From a, he hasn't been seen in a year, and they had a Kelnaka oh, rag. Was it, yeah. what, we saved this then? rag from when we saw him a year like, ago. What? I like. I, I am actually genuinely like. What the fuck are you trying to tell me that you guys collect rags from all the different Jedi uh, in case they go missing and give it to Gophers? I'm also confused about time because the other guys only have three hours of daylight left they're here in its daytime is this the same time or the next day or i'm going before? to assume it's the same day <laughs> my guess is the same day too even though i don't see why i have no do. fucking idea how that could work out but if it comes to it and she doesn't listen to me you need to stop her well yeah we'll just stun lock her with the force they've got so many jedi only one of them was needed to stop her can't hesitate a second time I can't hesitate a second time. Like, you mean you let her Oh, go. so she wanna... didn't miss. Oh, she yeah, hesitated. Yeah. Why isn't the other guy saying hesitate? He said hesitated, but yeah, that's why. Right. Why isn't he? What do you mean a second what? time? Yes, I think it is meant to be happening at the same time. This is so fucking they stupid, what, they, brother. Like, the <laughs> timeline is fucked the again. Time. These guys went straight there. The Jedi went back to Coruscant, did some training for a bit, and then and came. then flew all the way out here. Does Coruscant so they should be just way ahead beyond time? You can just phase in there whenever. <laughs> Coruscant's Man. like TVA. Coruscant's just a mm. concept. It's not a place. Yeah, these two should have met the guy and then done their thing and then left way before the Jedi. Like days arrived. ago. One way you could try and justify it would be stupid is that these guys are wandering around for ages because they have no way of finding Kilnaka. Meanwhile, the Jedi know exactly where he is. Apparently, but they only had three hours just... of daylight left, so they put a time on. That's it. what I'm saying. It bit, doesn't. A little please. bit thrown for a loop by the plan here. Both teams have just decided we're going to go and amble around in the forest. Yeah. To find for some reason. Demon. Well, they've got well, they've him got tracking. A tracker. But why do they need a tracker? He's a Jedi. Can none of them sense him. Well, yeah, Force users can sense each other. And... <laughs> he says there's something wrong here. Something rotten. This is the second time they've had an alien species speak in their language, and it's just like random growls. It's not like actual words or inflections or like grammar or anything. You're gonna it's get just a big Whoa! monster random oh, encounter. Like that's a word to like pad more runtime and get our action scene in. She just makes noises. Oh sure. Jeez. Probably shouldn't touch that. No, yeah, go to alien want... planets and touch everything with your bare hands. Oh no, oh, it's who actually could have seen this. Yeah, oh no, comes the it's a little. Encounter. Yeah, remember how there was something there a well, second you could do ago like and a, now it's um, fucking gone? You want to say something? If, if you want to do a random encounter like this, at least have someone do something for someone. That's how you make use yeah. of it, right? Have you want to say moment. anything? No, not yet. So! There you go. <laughs> <laughs> that look of slight concern. Maybe you grab your blaster? Yes, yeah, she has it for a reason, right? I have it. You have it? What makes you think it's gonna fly? It? Why, did okay, it, why, why would it fly at you? All right. All right. Why did it fly? It's attracted to light. It went straight for the saber. It's attracted to light. <laughs> They had to uh, explain it straight will, away. Oh, that will be relevant at some point. And how later. do you know that? It won't be the saber. It's attracted to light. It flew it a lightsaber. Light. Also, if that thing's dumb? flying at the guy behind me, I'm diving out of the way. Just, I'm running. I'm not like, oh, it, it's just passing me by by like two feet. I can stand right where I am. I also love that that thing was born right when they were there, and it almost kind of did some immediately serious damage. sprouted wings. And, yeah. and they're all just like, well, anyway, and it's like we're surrounded by these things. By the way, it's like, eh. yeah, what's the point of what was the whole point? Is that a setup for them escaping the later? There's a whole. Retract it to light and they'll use that lighter. Somehow that'll come up, yeah. I was able to sense that creature. What is. <laughs> but I disturbed it and now it's dead. I disturbed <laughs> it and now it's dead. I was able to sense that creature. Uh, yeah, well, maybe you shouldn't have fucking it touched it. It's, it's always an honor to get to witness anything or anyone transform into the force. It's an honor to it, transform retard? into the force? Uh, is this how she uh, conceptualizes death on in every case? I couldn't accept what I'd lost. How unfair it felt. The resentment that I felt for my sister. Please explain your feelings to us. Odd. Even though I, I missed her at the same time. Oh my uh, You miss your sister. Thank you. Let's Why? move on. I'm sorry. When did They're this just... happen? When did these two become the relationship? We're not defined by what we lose, we're defined by what we survive. In abject disinterest for writing is so fucking obnoxious. It's so blatant, it may as well be a person on a chair talking to us directly to the episode going, I have some ideas. First, these two, they're friends now. And you're like, uh huh. Because she said something like, the, You're not defined by what you lose, but by what you survive. There's probably a context where that could actually be meaningful. Probably 10 minutes south of here. You can't stop now. Was your plan to just run down the Wookiee and end up fully exhausted by the time you get there? Well, that's, like, why she's, that's why she said she wants to rest. And he's like, It is a problem that you're resting. I'd like to rest for a minute, if that's all right with you. It's not, but 
Okay. Maybe if you weren't wearing that ridiculous fucking outfit, the one outfit that you have, running around in the jungle when it's probably super hot, you wouldn't be so tired. You will kill a Jedi without a weapon. Attacking a defenseless person goes against everything the Jedi stands for. This guy's wearing like a cloak. He's got to be that, sweating buckets under is, there. Is that chainmail? <laughs> yeah. Don't you wear a chainmail on your journeys to the jungle? You're going to fight <laughs> Jedi, my friend. Chainmail helps to do that stuff. You ever hear about samurai? I want this more than anything, but it's impossible. Yeah. I love the. It's only now she's thinking about killing people without weapons being impossible. You've gotten too down. It's so funny. It's just like you didn't bring this up before. So I have to kill a Wookiee without weapons. It's hard enough a human who wants to resist you. <laughs> I'm gonna find you more water. And solve her more water. You didn't find bring you. any? <laughs> they didn't have any in those little storage boxes that they dragged a hundred meters away from the ship just to unload them into their packs. Are they gonna be able to find their way back to the ship? He lifts up his little key fob and he hears the in the distance and they're like, I heard it, it's over there, there's a ship. It like turns on the, the ship alarm. <laughs> it just starts blaring in the parking lot. Oh my God, do something, Jesus Christ. We're running out of episode. Nothing's happened. Uh, what's the, Nothing has happened what's in deal? 22 minutes. I don't see him. What? Basil. He's vanished again. How did... What do you mean you, again? You lost him? That's your only thing that you need to do is follow him. I swear we need a tracker just to track our tracker. That's funny. No, you just need to pay attention. So why did he run off? That is like his whole thing is them. to guide you guys. I assume you pay him. Why is he a shitty tracker that always runs off I mean, without what? the group? How do you lose him? I have so many questions as to how that even happened. <laughs> So this is implied that May set that trap for him? Oh, there we go. Well, But why? I don't need to do this anymore. My loyalty is to Osha, not your master. What, what are you doing? What? What is going on? What? What I'm going to do is surrender myself to Kelnaka. What? Why does she sound like she's lying? What? And then turn myself into the Jedi. Oh, stop, stop. What? No, this what? is a trick. What, what is this going is... on? What? What? Wait, I'm, I'm confused what? because this is- The Jedi will put you in prison. Not after I tell them who I know. What is going on? So are you gonna cut your guy down? Yeah, why are you doing this to him? He'll kill you. You'd have to find me first. Yeah, why me? What, it, what, what was the, that? What just what, happened? Like, what a so crazy was, face. It was the trap hers? I'm sorry. Yeah, that was hers. She like, how did she that make I'm, a I'm, How did she do that? Where yeah, did she how? get the rope? In that amount of time, too. And then she also, the I'm just in the little bag thing. I'm just entertaining she, the idea that now much? that that wasn't even her because that was so I, I out of character. I don't understand yeah. what that scene was meant to convey. Like seriously, was, I'm totally baffled. She I was just thinking completely if this changed. Is like a, an OSHA thing where somehow OSHA got her clothes or whatever, and I was like, because that seemed to make more sense in the moment than her having this random shift out of nowhere. Random epiphany, yeah. Well, just yeah, I'm, I'm gonna give myself up to the Jedi because my sister being life changes everything fuck my masters like when did this happen i feel different i sense things again in a way that gives me the courage to face her <laughs> oh my god oh my god can you stop riding i don't stop get the riding. gloves why, why do they wear the, the tight gloves like that it's obvious that my hands are cold come on isn't it's that like, like hot? Your hands will get all sweaty shit. and everything out here. Why can't you infer that? You're going to face your past. Both of us will. They've all got to be sweating buckets under all those thick robes out here in the jungle. Nah. Once we get May safely to the ship, I'll explain everything. I'll explain everything. We'll see. What, are they, what is everyone yeah. doing? I don't know. We, I, we're just like standing Basil. around. I'm just waiting for like, Kelnaka. We're running out of episode. This. Finally. Oh, okay. Look, there. Finally, we got there. He's I feel like be, it's like, been fucking his three grass. hours. Lol. All right. You just tripped. Is that what like, the fuck? Is that like poison spores or something? Oh. What, um... That's kind of convenient. Why don't you speak words? He's found me. <laughs> now what? <laughs> Yord can... I like how Yord can translate, though. <laughs> it's just like... Master Kilnaka. Oh, oh you're no. dead, aren't you? We don't even get to see the Wookiee Jedi and then fight. They'll come in and they'll say, "You did it." Yeah, you so are fucking gonna be kidding the, me. Is this going to be the he's third? Sleeping. He's napping. It's going to be the third straight like time someone's frame. Oh, oh, oh he's lightsaber dead. slice! Wow, what? He's here. Thanks, I couldn't have... Really? Whatever. What? And now it's dark. dark. Now. It's been three yeah, hours, dark. guys. Oh, come on, Smiler Ren, come on. I don't understand. Let's they see it. Didn't they bait <laughs> that we were getting the Kilnaka episode at the end of two? We do a whole flashback episode, and then all of four isn't him, and he's just dead? Oh my god, man. In the name of the Galactic Republic, 
and the Order of the Jedi. Can you imagine like the retard police like being outside of your door being like, in the name of the Jedi and the High Republic and the Jedi. I'm like, Jesus Christ, is it you people making noise again? Oh, Leave me alone. Just I just wanted to see a Wookiee Jedi. I he's can't dead. believe it. We He's done. They set that up and everything. And he's just dead without doing anything. All he did was he you pulled think. the gun away and then he grilled okay. some grass. Now, yeah, here a, we go. I Yeah, come on, Wait, well, you can't do that. <laughs> Apparently, he... down. <laughs> <laughs> what? Smilo, give it. Come on. Why is yeah. no one telling you to come back? <laughs> Get away from Smilo. What is that? Why would you say that instead of who is that? Yeah, that's clearly who a person. He, <laughs> what is that? Fellow. Look at his little smile. Are you a he or a they? Stand down. Ugh. We're not going to get so anything. So the whole thing is that May has to go out there and fight him to save her sister. This is going to be that like Avengers trailer th scene from the trailer. Yeah, they're going to do the trailer thing and it'll end. How did she not react to a lightsaber? Are you kidding me? Why would you stand there? Watch out! Lol. Oh. Okay. Uh, that. Ugh. No, you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> nothing happened. Oh my God, that was twenty-eight well, minutes and nothing cool. happened. What a waste of time. Seriously. Oh my God, that yeah. was actually a waste of time. That I don't even like know if you need to bother putting this out. <laughs> like we can skip this one. <laughs> it's a filler episode. I've, it's not filler. It's seen nothing. Filler episodes. Filler like makes you feel like. It Full, was genuinely kind of? most of the episode was recapping what had happened and then characters just plainly stating their new motivations. <laughs> got a like, couple lands games. Oh my god. There are some there, there are some massive fucking problems with the time frame in yeah. this episode. Oh yeah. It, it makes zero sense that they were able to go from whatever butt fuck planet that was and get all the way to the Wookiee planet with three hours of light to spare. And somehow those guys made it to Coruscant, had all these deliberations, had enough time for Jackie and Osha to get some uh, little bit weird relationship going on, gather them all together, go back to there, catch up with them just to get there the exact same time May gets there to not even see the Wookiee Jedi in action well, and, at all. And let's be honest, uh, the theory that Smilo Ren is that other guy is now probably the winning one or at least close to yeah. it considering everything. I mean, like, he, he got so much screen time and so many died. lines this episode that are obviously supposed to be ones that you can look back on and be like, ooh. Well, just he disappeared, the Wookiee died, then he showed up again, and then he disappeared, and then Smilo Ren showed up, so. Yeah. Do you think that what they're gonna do is that it's like, oh, the Wookiee, he was getting too close to figuring out the yin-yang, and so he got him, because he wants to hoard those secrets all to himself, and he was manipulating everything the entire time, even all the way back on a, that other planet with the two Whatever, moons. man. I'm so all fucking annoyed. Like I told you, in terms of, I don't know, what do you call it, cinematic language, like, the end of episode two was absolutely them being, them saying, we dealing with the Wookiee to... next. He's yeah. next. He's coming up. He's just dead. We got one scene of him doing cooking some grass. I would say that this is a pretty clear example of fridging. Um, they fridge the Wookiee. He existed and died only to service the story of these twins. So that's not very nice. <laughs> and also, this is the third time in four episodes now that they've used the plot device of, oh, someone's like caught on the scene of a murder that they didn't actually fucking commit. It is pretty funny how much of an anti-climax a lot of these are. Oh, look, it's Trinity. Nope, she's dead. Oh, look, it's a Wookiee Jedi. Nope, he's dead. The change from May, because again, episode three, since that was all a flashback, so we never got to see any of May's reaction to what she thought when she saw Asha or Osha alive. That snap change like that is just so out of left field for her to say, hey, my sister's alive. That changes everything. I'm going to turn myself into the Jedi and give up everything that I've been training for for the past, whatever, 16 years. Well, we have to remember, she said, I'm going to turn myself into the Jedi. And then when the Jedi show up and say, turn yourself in, she doesn't. If we're to conclude that she would actually completely reverse her motivations to hunt down and kill Jedi because her sister is alive, then she's not that interested in actually going after the Jedi because she has like no principled opposition to them. She just wanted revenge for one person. To bring, I guess, bring Kiati Mundi into it. <laughs> the idea that they feel the necessity to include that character is weird to me. There are other characters that you could use that were, say, Plo Koon. Plo Koon was alive. Now, they did have 
have a, a Keldor there, but that's not Plo Koon. That's a different guy if you looked in the credits. But that's a species that lives a couple hundred years. You could have included him in the background or in one of these discussions. You still have the question, why doesn't anybody know about this potential Sith, Dark Force user, whatever, a hundred years after the fact? But to have Kiati Mundi, who is a species that previously established in Star Wars, and all the way up until this point, until this episode right here, male Cerulean's had a about a 65, 70 year lifespan that was old for them. Like that was extremely old for them. Kiati Mundi was not born yet until like 40 years after this happens. So now they're going to go back, retroactively change it, maybe make well, that species live to like 200. And it's well, just, it's nonsensical. Something I happen to know just because of uh, the way the, just the, the internet works. When Star Wars Theory was watching this episode, or at least rather when he was talking about it on his stream, uh, his, his fans were letting him know during the episode, Wikipedia were updating the Kiati Mundi wiki page and they had to change his birth and like the nature of it and the information that was available because they had to like scrub it and like it was coming up with errors and shit because they didn't know what to how to they didn't have references they had to uh... how do we make sense of this it is a blunder that i find kind of fascinating it's actually kind of crazy to me that they made this mistake this is 132 years bby so before okay, the battle yeah. of yavin he's unironically something like negative 40 years old in the scene he's already an adult here he's portrayed as like middle-aged you know when you look I... at like the color of that beard that's what it feels like sure, yeah. i wonder if it genuinely was that they were like can we do yoda and they said no or alternatively no that would be too obvious uh Kiati mundi yeah i think it's very specifically because what was the first thing everyone said when we heard line. the pitch of this show it was his line from phantom menace oh the sith have been extinct for a millennia whatever the fuck he says i guess if we're taking this like at the most good nature look we could take would be hey he doesn't really know it's a sith they don't really know what it is could be a spinoff could be a dark jedi that trained or whatever but still the idea that he was there for these discussions and keeping it from the high council exactly is, is so thing. silly we did move past that fairly quickly but it is kind of nuts that this lady just made like the decision to conceal the jedi being killed by a potential sith from the jedi council and from the senate but it would look bad it would make him look a bit it i mean it would look, look bad, bad because it is bad wait What's wait just happening? a second would it make them look bad because this oh, is an wait, evil no, sith. Wait, this is an evil yeah, sith yeah, yeah, user, yeah. right I, I just remembered because it was in episode one they thought that it was osha and they're like well look bad if a former Padawan was doing this, but it's not her. They forgot to update their... It, it, when the information true. was updated, well, yeah. they forgot to update their concern. Because if anything, they should go to the High Council and be like, this is even more of a reason for the Jedi to get more respect and authority, because look what happens when some Force user out there doesn't become a Jedi, they're evil and shit, and they get the red lightsaber, and they're super cringe. I've always we can't thought, be having that. Since, like, episode one, when they started talking about, like, hiding this, I, I just figured this immediately, we're just trying to find a way to not involve characters that uh, I would have thought they involved. would have dragged the council in. It's some member berries getting Yoda in there. Yeah. But then they were like, well, nah, that would be too obvious. Kiyotti yeah, Mundi. we can't have Yoda. It doesn't make any sense at all. Instead, we have to devote an odd amount of like attention to this little Brazil guy, this little rodent, and he's going to make weird noises I mean, he and he's going to run away from the... the Wookiee Jedi. He got more screen yeah, time than him. Yeah, he did. Turns out the writer or someone who was involved in this episode has actually answered the, because uh, some people are upset, admittedly, that the fucking Wookiee was just killed <laughs> after everything. Let me guess. Is it about um, you didn't get what you expected? No, they've explained oh. why we didn't see. Apparently there was a plan for an actual battle to see Kilnaka defeated by presumably Smilo Ren. And uh, apparently they couldn't fit it into the budget. They couldn't the, fit the it $180 really. million dollar budget? Joking. Hmm, okay. <sighs> if it was a narrative thing where they didn't want to, because if you were to show that battle, you'd be revealing that Smilo Ren was there. It's still not even a good, like, it doesn't address what people are pointing out, which is we didn't get to see anything about him. You teased him in episode two, did a flashback episode, and then he died. Well, yeah, just and, wait and, for the next flashback yeah, but that's episode. The thing. It's like, oh, you can see him in the past a little more. Like, cool. I wanted to see him now. Oh well. But oh well. They keep betraying basic TV show tenets of understanding like stories in any way, shape, or form. The fact that this episode opens with an establishing shot. We zoom in. It's the forest. Oh look, it's Kilnaka doing his day to day. He's like, ah, this will be a Kilnaka episode. No. A substantial amount of it is just two separate groups of people walking through a forest. It was brought up prior, but the whole Lucasfilm don't know how to make TV shows. Uh, to try and dig further in, I think something they absolutely have not grasped is uh, that each individual episode, even when it's super serialized, is supposed to feel somewhat like a story. Make us feel like we actually consumed a completed thing. <laughs> Back to the bullshit Kiati Mundi thing. There's a lot of people that are mad about this now. Oh, I can't believe they changed this person's backstory. This has been happening for fucking 12 years at Lucasfilm. And every one of these 
dumb retards who sat there and applauded every time Dave Filoni did this, maybe because they didn't know enough about Star Wars to understand that Dave Filoni has changed things like this time and time and time again with no regard for if it makes sense or not, just for the story that he wants to tell. If you have been one of those people that have been applauding Dave Filoni, wanting him to become in charge of Lucasfilm, give him more authority, you are part of the fucking problem because this shit's been happening for over a decade and you've said nothing. Whatever the case, either Dave approves of this show, which is what I expect him to say publicly, or he cannot stop it from being made in any way, shape, or form. I, he's I mean, done I think with the this. answer's way simpler. The answer is that he thinks that this is good. Yes, he's down with it. I'm so tired of people trying to make excuses for this piece of shit. He's a hack. He just, he's just a hack. I mean, it's so funny. You're probably with the only group of people like on the internet that would just be sitting there like, well, we've been hating him since it would have been Mando, right? I think that Mando season one has about three episodes that if you stripped away a lot could make for like, okay, maybe that might have been an okay movie or something, but it's got a lot of flaws. Maybe like a four out of 10 as a whole. But Mando season two, I thought was horrific. It was nostalgia bait, jangling keys that covered up terrible writing decisions and things that didn't make sense and had just everybody applauding when Ahsoka showed up or Boba Fett showed up or dead-eyed Luke Skywalker comes in, doesn't act like Luke Skywalker, doesn't do the things Luke Skywalker would do, doesn't ask these people anything about the Empire, anything about all these droids, doesn't ask if they're okay, if they can get back safe, just kidnaps the baby and walks away. For people that claim Mando season three was a big step down for Mando season two, I think they're idiots. And I think the only difference is the cameos you got were Jack Black and Lizzo instead of Ahsoka and Luke Skywalker. And that's why you didn't like it. So what you're saying is we're in a really good position for the rest of this season to sort of make up for the uh, lower quality first half. It's all, all, all based on your point of view, I suppose. Man, when Thrawn showed up and was coping the whole time, <laughs> that was some really riveting storytelling. Truly. I don't really have any words for it other than there's just a complete and total disdain for the craft of writing. Nobody involved in the production of this seems like they care at all about what it would be to write a show. It is very obligatory in that sense. Someone was paid to make this, so they made it. I don't know how you could write in this manner, like specifically in this way, and feel happy about it. The Disney Star Wars shows have a remarkable quality of nothing happening, but also a lot of things happening very quickly. Most of that episode was just them walking around in a forest but in that time another character was killed and one of the main characters motivations flipped it happens in bursts it happens in these little short super bursts where in between those super bursts there's nothing i'd love to know what they think they are building towards narratively if you were to ask them so by the end of episode four what is your hope in terms of an audience reaction they're thinking of the the soy jack going Ooh! as long as i were talking about it on twitter you know it's like hey shit i mean yeah mission accomplished right but i mean good stories tend to endure in people's hearts and minds this is an activate when, his when red lightsaber right next to uh Osher, and she didn't even look we're gonna we're gonna land on this planet we're gonna take these big black bins outside and then transfer <laughs> all of the stuff from the black bins to these backpacks and then take the backpacks out into the forest that is so fucking stupid why would you do that what is the point of bringing the black thing the little black bins out there why why would you do this they they have have her sidekick guy being super clumsy throughout this whole episode. And it's like, what, what, that's probably to try and put you off the idea that he would be Smile Ren. It could still be Horny Girl. Those are the only two candidates. I, I, anything else, like if it turned out to be Kill Knocker or something, it would be like, wait, what? <laughs> Why? What? <laughs> It'd just be a cloud of gas, maybe. <laughs> I'm more than happy to say that. that's the end of the fourth yeah, one, guys. Yeah, we can, uh... See you later, everybody. Hope you all yep. had a, a, uh, a grand yeah. time. Yeah, I hope you guys have a good great. weekend. You know, go outside, drink your water, uh, get some fresh air, uh, eat well, you know, eat decently. Don't eat too much. That's where, you know, that's where they get you. Make sure to wash behind your ears. Otherwise, um, smaller Ren's gonna get you. What at me? You wanna know how I got these scars? My father, he comes at me with a knife. Why so serious? Let's put a smile on that face. What'd you bring me?